Curry simulating the career of Kawhi Leonard in NBA 2K24. So right now we're in the year 2011 starting off with the draft lottery. Top three picks here. The Sacramento Kings are going to get the dirt all rubbing, but the Cavaliers are in the top two as the Cleveland Cavaliers will land the second overall pick, which means the number one overall pick will be going to the Toronto Raptors. So the Raptors have a chance of taking Kawhi Leonard, but don't get me wrong, there are some very other good players in this draft. Don't get me wrong, I'm taking a look at it, man. We got Kawhi, we have Kyrie Irving, Jimmy Butler, Clay Thompson, Kimball Walker, Tristan Thompson, Yonda Valentinas. There are so many good players in this draft that I'm kind of skeptical of, you know, skeptical of Kawhi if he's going to go one. What if Kyrie goes one? What if Jimmy goes one? What if Clay goes one? Let's hop straight to the draft to see. One pick in the 2011 NBA draft, the Toronto Raptors will select Kawhi Leonard. So Kawhi, he joined Toronto later in his career and won a championship. And now he's joining Kawhi. And now Kawhi Leonard is getting drafted by the Toronto Raptors inside of the NBA draft. As the, you know, the, you know, the Cowboys are going to cite Jimmy Lowe. So, um, you know, Kyrie Irving is still on the board as Kimball Walker over Kyrie. Wow, the Bucks have to take him. I'm going to take Clay. Kyrie's now falling off five. He's going to go to Minnesota. Oh, man, Kawhi Leonard is going to be pairing up with a young DeMar DeRozan at this place, 21 years old. Man, this is going to be fun, man. We also got, you know, this team is still relatively young. They got, obviously, they got Bargnani, they got Kawhi, they got Jose, they have Jared Jack. This team is still pretty young. I think they can probably make a strong playoff run, maybe. But I feel like in a couple of years, man, DeRozan and Kawhi, I just think that's such a fun duo. Man. We'll see how season one goes. Grant went to the MVP award. Rookie of the year, we do have Kawhi Leonard. He averaged 20 points per game, six rebounds, two assists, two steals, and two blocks. This guy's going to be insane, man. In the NBA, we were 20 and 62 on this season, which could could be a good thing because another good draft is coming in. We got Anthony Davis, dude. The dream scenario here would for the Raptors to draft Anthony Davis. If not, there's still guys like Dame, you know, Bradley Beal. We all know AD is the best player in this draft, man. We want him, right? Hopefully. Let's just see who wins the fit finals. Now we got the Mavericks going on to win the championship. Dirk Nowinski comes home with the finals. MVP. So let's head straight into the draft lottery. We got Jason Kidd retiring. Let's head straight into Oh, we had a Raptors player retiring. Um, We had Jamal retiring. I'm not really too concerned, but head straight into the draft lottery here as we will be projected the number one overall pick. Hopefully we stay and we're going fall, fall to fall to four, which... And that sucks. Okay. And he's not going to fall now, right? No way. Number one pick, the Detroit Pistons will select Anthony Davis. That's a heartbreaker. Number two, we have Harrison Barnes. Number three, we got Bradley Beal. So with the fourth overall pick, we're going to select Damian Lillard. That's the pick. Let's go. Leonard is up to an 87 overall. He's now the best player on his team. DeRozan is also 85. But I can't even be mad if us missing out on it. Yeah, was, we got a really good player in Damian Lillard. Like an amazing player. We, and we know what he becomes, right? So we now have a big three of the future of Dame, DeRozan, and Kawhi. Let's see how this goes. Kawhi, we're going to see a huge leap from him. This is going to be fun. Derrick Rose is your MVP. Anthony Davis, Rookie of the Year. Raptors did not make the playoffs again. You know, they were 27 and 55 on this season. Kawhi Leonard did average about 21 points per game, though, which is great. DeRozan averaged about 16. Damian Lillard averaged 17. So, yeah, we have, like I said, a young core going. We just need our power forward, and we need to upgrade our bench a little bit. And then we're talking contention, man. Like, Robin Marshall is just even a real guy. But in the finals, we have the Bulls winning the championship. D Rose Finals MVP. Here's our projected the fourth um fourth overall pick. You can see how that goes. We are projected the fourth overall pick in the NBA draft as we're gonna finish with the number fifth overall pick in the NBA draft. Man, that sucks. Up into the draft. Here are the players that we can possibly draft. You know, not the best class in the world, but it can still work. Um, we got Otto Porter, Yas Tedekumpo, Victor Oladipo. Erlens Noel, Rudy Gobert, Cody Zeller. Yeah, it's not really the best. Um, I feel like the best players here would be like maybe, I mean, I guess Giannis, obviously. So, hope Giannis falls to five. We'll definitely see. 
Number one, the Grizzlies will play Giannis. Okay. Two, Otto Porter to the Charlotte Bobcats. Three, we got McCollum going to the Phoenix Suns. Oh, I forgot to put that on. That's actually a really good pick. I'm not going to lie. Fourth, we got a trade. The Mavericks will trade their pick for Mike Conley in a second. Okay, interesting. As the Grizzlies will select Michael Carter-Williams to replace Mike Conley. Okay, I mean, I don't really see the point of that. But And then with the number fifth overall pick, the Toronto Raptors, we will select Rudy Gobert. Not bad. And it's up to a 90 overall at this point, he's probably a superstar. DeRozan is up to an 86. Dame is up to an 81. Like I said, Rudy Gobert, you know, we already have Bargnani, but, you know, Bargnani is 27. I guess Gobert is, like, younger than him. 76 overall, 21 years old. He'll be the center. Um, really good defensive center. We all know that. A bunch of deep boys. And then we can see how this season goes. Bill Westbrook is your MVP. Ricky of the year goes to Victor Oladipo. We passed him, but the thing is, we didn't need him that much. We had DeRozan. I made all NBA second team, averaging 24 points per game, seven rebounds, three assists, 44% from three, 50% from the field. Almost shooting 50, 40, 90. This man is a stud, dude. We did make the playoffs. We, like, just made it as the AFC, which is amazing. Um, so, yeah, we're the eighth seed in the playoffs, which is amazing. We have to play the Chicago Bulls. The Bulls right now have Derrick Rose. They just won the championship. So, yeah, now we beat this team. This team is great. You know, Derrick Rose is, you know, insane in this game. So, this era, as we do lose a five, which you would expect. But Kawhi Leonard this series did average 22 points per game. So, really good playoff series from him as we have the Thunder going on to win it all with Russell Westbrook. James Harden, and Kevin Durant, before Damian Lillard's up to an 83. Droz really hasn't progressed that much, which sucks. We got like Kenneth, Kenneth Boyd, they sound just great. Kenneth Boyd, I guess, but we got Rudy Gobert. He averaged about, you know, five and six on one block. Not nothing too crazy, but it's cool for backup center, obviously. TJ Ford, they signed Trevor Reza. He's going down, though. We drafted Jeremy Grant, which is also an amazing pick, bro. We've been in the second round. We got, I guess, Jimmy Grant draft in the second round of real life, but dude, we have been cooking on our draft picks, man. Drafting Kawhi, first of all, drafting Dame, drafting Gobert. Now we got Jeremy Grant. We all know what he becomes right now. He is, you know, the blade of awesome two first round picks from real life, but he's a 21 point per game scorer in real life. We're cooking. Eric Rose, MVP, Rookie of the Year, Nikola Jokic, seed in the East. So I knew this team would be great eventually as we got Washington in round one. The Wizards have a prime John Wall, Nick Young, Boyan Badanovic, Robin Lopez. So a really good team there, but they're the seventh seed. That's Kawhi Leonard averaged 28 points per game, shooting 47% from three. Ooh, Kawhi freaking Leonard. Not gonna lie, man. This is really the first time when I do these re simulations where a rookie got drafted in the perfect position because this has been the perfect team that you know one of these rookies or like these re simulation videos. None of these guys have been on a more perfect team than Kawhi right now. They've drafted amazing, they did everything great, and like I said, now we're in this moment where. They're probably going to, you know, be a strong contender for many years to come. And I don't have to force them out of Toronto as they beat the Wizards in six to play the Miami Heat with, yeah, LeBron James and Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh. So, you know, even I don't think we might, how do they get y'all? Like, I, I don't really think they'll beat this team. Uh, I think it's still a great future and potential enough to beat this team as we do lose. Oh, we win at five? I thought we lost. We beat this. We beat the Miami Heat team with Wade. I guess Wade is a little older. LeBron James, though. Chris Bosh. Yao Ming, too. We beat this team with a seven. No, I'm not going to ask, man. But now we got Chicago and the Carlos Sons go to the NBA Finals with Derrick Rose. Yeah, this team is really good. We'll see what happens, though. As they're up to the zero, they're up to the zero, and we get swept. I'm actually not mad that conference finals already in year number four. The Bulls, whatever, man, get your championships out of the way. Kyrie made the finals, interestingly enough, averaging 30. Harrison Barnes. You guys want to see a Kyrie re-simulation next? We're rebranding to the like the ball Toronto Rockers, so a new logo. But obviously, Kawhi Leonard is a restricted free to Nick here, so most likely he will return to the Clippers, or not the Clippers, the Raptors. But we'll have to see what happens. Is right now he has an offer from the Celtics and the Pistons, man. Do not do do not make the same decision. Resign with the Toronto Raptors, man. We need it. We need it because this team is actually amazing. He should have resigned. He, he's restricted. They'll match it, right? 
Celtics and Pistons. We could take a look at their team because he's not gonna go there anyway. But the Celtics, yeah, do not join. I mean, they they got Cat and Porzingis. That's an okay backcourt. But like, no, we're no, we're going. What's the other team again? Other team. We're going back. To, we're going to watch this round. Don't worry. It was the Pistons. So, I mean, I don't want to join Detroit either. I don't want to join the worst franchises. I mean, they do have. I mean, I get they have one championship. They have Anthony Davis though. But I still do want to stay in Toronto. So we'll see what happens. As we are gonna match it, okay. I was expected Barniani though. Looks like he's afraid as well. Barniani is gonna not get matched, so we're gonna let Barniani go. Interesting. Five overall on his brand new extension. And then nobody else is really progressing too much. Instead of obviously Rudy Gobert, we got Kenneth Boyd, really good signing. We got Trevor Ariza, signed Shannon Brown, signed Jeff Teague, signed Larry Sanders, and Grant looks like he's gonna start this year. Amazing. Kind of bad this year. I mean, we weren't the same. Man, D Rose is really crazy in this game, man. Like, do you guys want to see a video where we like, um, you know, what if Derrick Rose stayed healthy? I mean, I think I already did that before. Everybody's probably did that one, but. Kawhi won Defensive Player of the Year, which is well-deserved, man. 2.5 steals per game is insane, dude. Kawhi, one of the best defenders of all time, Kimball Walker and Charlotte. Do they know? Um, Coach of the Year, Frank Vogel. And then um, we got LeBron AD making All-NBA first team. We got Kawhi Leonard making All-NBA second team. He's up to a 96 at this point. Um, and then, no, oh, Kyrie went to Boston. He left Minnesota and went to Boston. So, only guy I, just, I guess stay loyal with their team is, you know, Kawhi Leonard so far. So, you can see he also made all defensive first team, of course, along with Jimmy Butler. His, um probably the second best defender uh, in that draft, I'm not going to lie. But, okay. Uh, we finished off as the sixth seed, which, you know, we still made the playoffs. But last year, we were the second team. Kind of surprised. But, of course, we got the Bulls, man. This is This is so... No, I guess I can't be mad. Chicago's a good team, and they are going to beat us again. Wow. Get, get the Bulls out of the way. And I'm telling you, we, we would have won that championship last year, man. Kobe got a sixth ring because pretty sure when we get into LeBron here, it's only his fifth, and that's his sixth ring. Shout out to Kobe, man. Leaving Kawhi Leonard and the Raptors, which sucks. So it's only Kawhi. Now, I mean, DeRozan, let's be honest, he kind of sucks. He didn't even do much for us anyway. Rigo bears up to an 85. We need Dame. Usually, you know, Dame's really, you know, doesn't really progress that much. And, you know, the, you know, the resims, I don't know why, but it's cool. Um, I got Barniani. I think it's about time, you know, we get another star in the building. Looks like they drafted Zubov, which is cool. Really good drafting, man. He, rookie of the year, Ben Simmons. But at the end of this season, we do have Kawhi Leonard making all the eight third team at the end of the season. We were better off without DeMar DeRozan, which is interesting to say the least. We replaced him with J.R. Smith. I forgot to say we signed him in free agency. When DeMar DeRozan left, the money opened up. We were able to get a really amazing you know could be even a better fit i'm not gonna lie better three-point shooter um and we have charlotte in round one who just saw their team against the hornets we will sweep them if you didn't see the team they had mike bridges auto porter drummond Corey joseph so we got washington now with john wall like i said prime john wall nick young bullion we can put this matt by so against the wizards we are going to lose in six not good not good man um not good at all. The Bulls probably stopped us multiple times. Kobe is calling a career. Team relatively stayed the same. You know, Dame isn't really doing much at all. It's not really going up any overalls, which sucks. JR is going down, and you know, that's really all they we did really. We signed like Jermaine Taylor, Shetty Osman. We got Reggie. Looks like we signed Reggie Bullock. And that's it, man. Fence up player. I think that's a back to back depot at this point, man. Um, no, he skipped year winning defensive player. Look at his resume so far, man. All he needs is a couple of championships, and he'll be, you know, one of the greatest. So, Booker winning most improved in New York. Shout out to him. But like I said, we like we're the fourth seed this year. Kawhi can test for agency if he opts out of his deal, which is very interesting. As we got Kawhi versus Paul George, absolute freaking cinema. So here we go, Kawhi versus PG going at it. As Kawhi will sweep Paul George to play the um play the Pistons with um they have KCP, Carmelo, AD. So it it'll, it will be a tough team to beat as they beat us in five. Okay, so. Going home in the second round again. Like I said, I haven't missed the finals yet. But at least, obviously, Kualin will be a free agent. So we can see if he decides to leave Toronto or not. 
I don't really care because the team is uh, at least it's good, right? Because usually the team would be terrible. But I would consider maybe for him to ring chase. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I mean, we can see what you know, you know if he doesn't pull a Paul George type thing. Like teams, I wouldn't mind going to. Like if he can find a way to go to the Heat, bro. I mean, but probably not gonna happen. So, like young yeah, coming teams, I can't really find. If he can find a way to go to like the freaking um you know the celtics with Kyrie, that'd be nice but we'll obviously have to see what happens anyway or the bulls of derrick rose but um in the draft they go ahead and take shake melton um which is a really good pick for them but for the big decision why leonard will opt out of his player option and will become a unrestricted free and so they cannot match anything anymore it's quite a decision this time so while Leonard has arms in the Raptors, Bucks, Nets, he's going back to Toronto. Okay, I guess guess I don't hate that. I mean, it's not the worst thing for him. He's going back to he could have went to the Bucks or Brooklyn. Let's see, the Nets had Brook Lopez. Okay, they ain't gonna see them join join this team. Did have Donovan Mitchell though. Um it was calling Sexton too, so nah, still not better than this team. Then the Bucks they added, um they didn't really yes, team team sucks, so I mean Kind of glad he went back to Toronto. The options weren't the best. And Kawhi Leonard will officially resolve the Raptors. I don't, I don't hate that by any means. Hey, the team definitely needs some improvement around Kawhi and Damian Lillard. Defensive player for Kawhi ended up being the fifth seed. We got to play the Boston Celtics. DJ Augustine, Malik Beasley, um, Ch Chandler Parsons, Chris Porzingis, and Cat. Obviously, the main guys is Cat and Chris Stops. As we're going to beat that team at six, this might be the year. Hold on, we got Detroit. With, you know, um, Carmelo Anthony, Anthony Davis. His team beat us last year. As this year, we're... Oh, man. Oh, so close, man. We were up 3-1. What happened? Pistons going to win it all. Anthony Davis on the piece. So, yeah, the Pistons are the only... Probably, first of all, now, first of all, it was the Bulls. Now it's the Pistons. ADS has two years left. Because I got to see. I got to I gotta hope their downfall comes soon. Carmelo Anthony, I don't think he's going to come back to their team. But we'll see. This guy, it's it's this guy named Jaime Perez. I have no. Is this is this guy real? I mean, I doubt it. I mean, he's he's locked up, and then yeah, I mean, unless we can hope Carmelo Anthony lead us, the only I mean, that's something right to a ninety-seven loss team is starting to progress. This Raptors GM, look at this bench. Are we? Is, are this Raptors GM blind? We're not making the playoffs, dude. Let's quiet out just like thirty-five. We're not making it. I'm sorry. AD career resim coming next. Trust, trust, trust. Sign rookie of the year. Oh, Kawhi Leonard Depot. He won he won 30 points per game. His career high. Cool. Kawhi Leonard at this point is prime, man. Another depoy for him. And how many? Um, so eight. He's an eight-time all-star. Um, you know, two-time first all NBA. Um, he just hits that he made all the team four time defensive player of the year. I have to search up what the record most for most most depoys are. It's probably in like Bill Russell, Will Chamberlain stuff, but we got Atlanta around. Hopefully, this is the year. Somehow, we made the playoffs, man. So, um, but hopefully, this is the year we can go big. And as you can see, Kimbo Walker, he's been bounced around the league. I'm not gonna lie. Now he's in Atlanta. So, yeah, he started off in Sacramento, Milwaukee, Charlotte, San Antonio, Atlanta. It sucks, man. It sucks, but. Um, we are going to come back from New Zero. Greatest team of all time. Don't doubt us, man. We got Detroit. Why are the bro? It's always the Pistons. And they still have Carmelo. You kidding me, bro? I thought he left. And he though he's 35. There's no way he's not progressing at this point. They still got Jaime here. Oh my gosh. You know what? I just still think we're a better team. I'm being serious. We're down D to two. And we're gonna get eliminated in six. Okay. Dude, is this a freaking dynasty? How many championships are there? Dude, AD, leave. Oh, no, he extended, so we're cooked for longer. As they're now a three-time championship. Jaime here, Jaime Perez, this random guy. I don't know. This season, not really seeing what... Dude, we got Kevin Love. Dude, how are we able to get this? We got Kevin Love and Death the Power 4. We freaking need it, man. Let's go. K-Love, welcome to the team, bro. Much well, we got Kevin Love. I didn't even notice Kevin Love. Welcome to Toronto. How do we afford this? Let's go. We just got a 25 point per game all star next to Kawhi Leonard. Let's freaking go, man. We needed that in the worst possible. 
and we're able to re-sign Dame and Gobert. We are cooking. You know, the bench still obviously needs some upgrading, but I think we're fine. I'm not going to lie. Kevin, now the big three of Kawhi, Caleb, and Lillard. Let's freaking go. Got a different deploy in Yas Tedekumpo. Interesting. At James Wiseman, one rookie of the year. So in this sim, looks like Wiseman ended up being good. Um, James Wiseman career resim. I'm playing, bro. If this, if, if, bro, if this video gets maybe if this video gets 200 views that's what i'm aiming for at this point then we then i'll consider a james wiseman sim. i promise you if this video gets 200 views i will do a james wiseman career sim probably right after this we're the one seed but it sucks because kevin love is out for oh he was but okay so kevin love was out for the entire season so it's why i only play all 49 games but he was out because of a spinal injury but now he's back now, now Kawhi's hurt, but he should play through that, and he does. Wait. Okay, he does. The W. Kevin Love. They're all back. We're in the playoffs now. To play the Miami Heat. So, finally, the Pistons are not here, bro. Um, The Heat have Dennis Smith, Tyrese Halliburton. I like that. I actually, I actually kind of like um Dennis Smith and Halliburton together. That's really cool. LeBron, Chris Bosh. I mean, I don't think we lose to this team, right? This team is pretty good, but... um. I'm gonna beat the five, but I like Dennis Smith and Halley a lot, man. I think it I think it complements pretty good. Um also Halliburton got hurt actually. Um interesting. But um now we got New York with Ja Morant and Devin Booker and Mo Bamba. I mean Brandon Ingram. This team is also really, you know, interesting. I like it. I like Ja Booker and Ingram together. So against the Knicks, we're gonna beat the five to play the Brooklyn. Nets now with Colin Sexton, Donovan Mitchell. Okay, another a really explosive front. These front courts have been very interesting, man. Or these back courts, I should say. They've been very interesting. Um, but another young team we should be able to beat pretty easily. As we almost choked. We beat them at seven. We're in the finals now. We're unstoppable right now. As where where's Rio Bear? Don't tell me he's hurt. I would turn full. Oh my gosh, torn meniscus. I know me yes, hasn't done much, but you can't deny the defensive and rebounding. Come on, Rudy got hurt in the last game. Got the winner without Rudy, man. But hopefully, boy, will step. So we got Dallas with um, Mike Conley, Zach Levine, Clay Thompson, Laurie Markin, and Tyson Chandler. Game one, we're going to take. Game two, they're going to take. Game two, we go up two to one. They ended up 2-2. Two to two. We go up D-2 as we're going to win the championship. No go bear. No problem. That's Kawhi's first ring in Toronto. Let's go, bro. And Kawhi, he'll be a free agent in 2020 um, or 2022 because I expect him to opt out of that. Was Kawhi Leonard and Kevin Love are starting to progress. I'm not too worried about it, though. Kawhi is literally 96 overall. Kevin Love, I'm kind of worried about, though. He's 32. Um, but we got Bull Bull, man. Bull Bull was a great pick for 20, like 13 points, 15 points. What will, what will he do this year, man? But um, like I said, you know, JaVale McGee progressing sucks. He was our backup five. So, yeah, another year of our bench being terrible. Let's go. Kawhi averaged 28 points, though. Interesting. Got a DeJounte Murray MVP. Kawhi Leonard wins defensive player. How many D points is that so far? That is doesn't even show no more. But um, I believe that's five. And we have the um round one after winning the championship. We have Atlanta. So the Hawks have really nobody to. I mean, they have like Ben Simmons and, and you know, cool, but Beard is hurt, man. It doesn't even matter at this point. So let's see if we can beat the Atlanta Hawks here, man. And by the way, Kawhi is a free agent after this year, so. If he lose, it could be, you know, sound any other team he wants to. So now we have Detroit with Anthony Davis. So, man, I haven't seen this team in a while. How are they looking at, man? So they still got Jaime Perez. Is he still good? This guy is still, bro. Ooh, I, I really have to say if this guy is even, is even a real guy because I don't think he is. But AD is still, you know, doing AD things. Patrick Williams is here. Corey Joseph. They have KCP. So let's see what happens against the Pistons. As we are in a game set with the choice for our first sim cast of the entire re-simulation. And it's going to be a blow. If it is, you don't have to hop in, obviously. And it is going to be a blow as we go to the conference finals. 30 from Dame. Only 17 from Kawhi. Um, he averaged 25 this year. But here we go. As we in the conference finals have the New York Knicks. The Knicks have Ja, Booker. I knew I'd see this team eventually, but... 
Um, game one, we're gonna take. Game two, we're gonna take. Game three, we're gonna take. Game four, we get rid of them really fast. We got Portland with Nikola Jokic, Siakam, Nick Batum. They got Jalen Brown. Okay, okay. I'm, I like this team, but I think we're still the better team, obviously. We're, they're going to take game one. We're going to take game two. We're going to take game three. We're going to take game four. And we beat them at five. Kawhi is your now back-to-back NBA champion. As we have the wall, Dane finally retiring. But we will, um, obviously. So Daquan Cook is gone. Todd Gibson. Patty Mills is obviously literally just out the Utah Jazz. He's still in the league. That's kind of crazy. But, Okay. Let's head straight into the draft. I mean, we already need another draft lot at this point. We'll have to pick dirty because we just won the championship. But like I said, man, um, you know, Kawhi Leonard is a free agent. We did go ahead and select Blake Wesley, but the Kawhi Leonard will opt out of his contract. So there it is. Bull, bull. Actually, he averaging 16 points per game, 37 per second. He's amazing, man. We should, I suggest seeing to take him a lot more. But all right, he's not restricted. So like I said, this is Kawhi's turn, which I guessing he could. He's going back to Toronto, so he might be a Raptor for life, man. I'm not saying he should leave or anything, but you know, signing a five-year deal—that's it's a long time, bro. It's that's half a decade, man. Are you sure you want to do this, Kawhi? Because you know, there's, there's other options, man. But I guess you just won a championship, so I, I guess if we continue to win a championship, you can obviously he can go back there, right? Yeah, we'll let him go back. So. Kawhi Leonard, um, if they want to get rid of Shake Millen, they can, but I'm not really suggesting it, but we'll see. And we, oh, I thought that was Nikola Jokic. I was about to jump up and down, but, you know, Nikola Jokic is here, and then Kawhi Leonard has officially re-signed. He will be a free agent at the age of 36 at this point, past the modern era. So we can see what we do in free agency as you know, Kawhi starting to progress, Willard starting to progress, Bull Bulls up to an 81 at least, and then the bench is still terrible. End of the season with a one seed in round one, the Miami Heat have um Dane. No way, this is our team. We're not talking about we got Jimmy Butler. No way, we freaking got Jimmy Butler. Dude, who do we trade to get Butler? We got Jimmy Butler on the team. How do we get Jimmy? Yo, hold on, let me see this dude. We got Jimmy, bro. We got Jimmy and Kawhi on the same team. Let me see this dude because we must have. Um, wait, what happened? How, how do we freaking get Jimmy Butler? Can you show me? Okay, we have to go to trades. Never mind. No. Okay, we traded Gobert. Oh, we traded Gobert in the first. Okay, so. I mean, we have Bull Bull. It's not actually the worst trade in the world. So, welcome to the team, Jimmy. But we definitely need a shooting guard. We got that, Jimmy, bro. Oh, we're cooking. Well, no, we should not lose this Heat team, dude. They kind of suck. So, I'll, I'll be really surprised if we do. As, oh my gosh, man. And I mean, all right, I mean, all right. We got the Hawks winning the championship with Ben Simmons, Jaron Jackson, and Matisse Heibel. Yeah, this team is progressing, man. It might be tough for Kawhi to get out of here. This season, we're the one seed. And we got the Charlotte Hornets in round one. So, John T. Murray, Mikhail, Otto Porter, Lori Markinen, and Andre John Nimmo. This is a really good, you know, well-balanced out starting five. The defense with DeJounte and Mikhail is great. Otto Porter, like, this is a really, you know, balanced lineup. And I absolutely love it. This team should be a lot higher in. Props to them if they beat it. Yeah, props to them, man. Their team is actually pretty underrated, man. You know, for props to them. You know, props to them. So I'm actually not mad about that. But at the same time, man, because we lost, Kyrie's getting old. I mean, quiet. My bad. So San Antonio Spurs won the championship with Kyrie Irving. Dude, Kyrie, man, he did not stay loyal in Minnesota. He's been bouncing around. Malik Monk, um, Josh Hart's on this team. But uh, Josh Hart rebounding? Yes, he is. But. I just know why it's pointed that out, but LeBron James retiring as a buck. We got Chris Paul retiring as a son. I mean, I, I guess, right? I guess he did, right? But Al Horford, Rajon Rondo is out the league. He's retired, but let's head straight into player progression and see how much Kawhi progresses, man, because at this point, you know, he's definitely progressing. So heading into player progression right now, let's get into it. We have Kawhi going down. Love Lillard, you know this whole team is, you know, yeah, we're all we're we're, we're all. I'm gonna say that we're all. Dynasty might be all. I mean, we, we have it's two champions really a dynasty, not really. So, I mean, this is I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm trying to see if Kawhi would get more championships, but not looking like it. Three times MVP? Question mark? Question mark? But um, Aiden won it last year, so I mean, anything could happen. So. We were the one seed again. I would love for us to get a championship out of this, though. We got Washington with John Wall, 
this point he's out of the league and right now he's in almost 90 overall on the wizards as the wizards beat us in six okay we might be washed we might be a fake one seed because um well malik monk is cooking dude i saw 27 points in the um the play i saw something like that but malik monk he never turned to this guy more of like a six-man guy but dude malik monk is cooking with Jalen Suggs. and how did this team make the finals i guess malik monk absolutely carried this team jabari jackson hayes yeah it is kind of where this team you know made it this far but they lost to sacramento with shea gillis alexander and josh Giddy. do they know bro and Kawhi Leonard is down to an 88 overall. He only averaged 70 points last year. Efficiency pretty low as well. This is not a good sign, man. Not a good sign. He might be retiring soon, to be honest with you. But he wants to come back to Toronto, which is interesting at least. But, dude, the team is starting to... I mean, Bull Bull will be the leading scorer this year. He averaged 20 last year, a couple of years ago. Why can he do it now? See, we, we didn't even make the playoffs. Wow, that's weird. Kawhi, yeah, Kawhi missed playoffs for the first time. Not the first time script for like a long time. So yeah, they're they're in forty nine on the season. Um we'll be in like twenty twenty I mean seven at this point, man. Yeah, we've been doing this for a while as we got the Kings going back to back. Markel faults this time with Shea coming off the bench. We serious or he just hurt. Okay, he's hurt. And Kel Faults is um but anyway. Um okay, so Delano got an Ari Kawhi Leonard. But we got we got Butler and Dame both retiring in the same offseason. That's that's kinda crazy. So Dame, a Raptor for life retiring. Butler got here at the end where things just started getting washed up. As Kawhi is by itself, as the Raptors have the third overall pick, that's nice. So they can um slide either AJ DeBon stock, him Boozer, or Darren Peterson. That would be cool to see unless they trade the pick. But one, Cameron Boozer, two, Isaiah Harwell, which means three, they are going to trade the pick. Okay, I mean, I guess we have to get something good in return, right? Jaime Perez, I remember you, bro. Piston, Darren Peterson, and AJ, but they took Sid Gee. What an idiot, bro. But, so, bro, I remember Jaime Perez used to cook us, dude. He used to cook us, man. This random CPU generated guy. I, mean, this, I don't know if this guy's even real. I still got to search him up, man. Maybe I'm just, just disrespected it, but... He used to cook us, and now he's on the team. Wow, that's actually, that's that's crazy, man. But, yeah, it doesn't change the fact that we're still going to be bad. So, I mean, yeah. So, um, we can see if we, you know, make any changes in the offseason, you know, sign anybody. I doubt we will. Kawhi's going to keep progressing downwards as he's down to a 85. Um, Kevin Love's still here, but that's really good. We didn't do anything. At the end of the season, we did not. Oh, we made the play, and that's cool, but... Um, I mean, Perez averaged 19, Kawhi Leonard averaged 13. A night efficiency also low, um, a career low, actually. So, here we go. We got Chicago. D Rose is still there, man. This is Derek Rose, I know, bro. Staying a little low to his hometown. I'll let Depot, Rizache, as we win. And we're in the playoffs to play the Celtics with uh, Akita Simpson, Amon Thompson. They still got um, KP and Carl Anthony. Down some against the Boston Celtics. We are going to beat them in seven to play the magic of Deanna Fox, Liam McNeely, Wendell Moore, Mo Bamba, RJ Barrett. As against this team, we beat them in six. Dude, no way, bro. I know we got Philly with Reed, Jamal, Sadiq, Paolo, and Wendell Carter. So against the Sixers, we put up an amazing fight. We could have made the playoffs, man. That's cool, but. Apollo is your finals MVP. They beat Curry and Gary Trent and this team. Um, wow, I mean, Reed Shepard, Jamal Murray, this is a decent team. I feel like we still could have beat them, though. As Kawhi Leonard does not retire, um, which is interesting. Lakina, he's at 85 overall. And this is probably the farthest I went in a re-simulation. Interesting. So, um, Kawhi, just, you know, kind of bad at this point. Y'all, but Kawhi actually extended. We didn't make the playoffs. Again, so... Is he going to retire now, bro? It's been a long time. So, um, the Cavs win the championship, and Kawhi Leonard is. Okay, Kevin Love retires, but, dude, okay, I think it's over, man. I think he need to retire. Jeremy Grant retire. Remember, I was hyping him up earlier. He's in the final year of his deal. He is 37 years old. He sucked again. We weren't even in the playoffs, man, but it doesn't matter, man. I believe that this is the year that Kawhi will retire. You never know what could happen, but at the end, in the finals, we have the Suns with Lonzo Ball as the finals MVP winning the championship. Great to see, and hope he can stay healthy. But 
Kawhi Leonard is retiring. Let's freaking go. Finally, bro. Hey. But, okay, Kawhi is gone. And um, we can take a look at his, um, yeah, see his resume for a second. So, Kawhi Leonard, some other guys retiring. Kawhi Leonard is a two-time NBA championship. Exactly how he was in real life. Two-time Finals MVP, 30-time All-Star, first-team All-NBA, second-team, 14 second um. So, Four times second team All NBA, three time All NBA third team, and a three time All NBA first team. As like I said, man, Kawhi was insane. He played 18 years. Um, you can check a look at the you know league history and see if he's up here or not. Nobody broke the Wolves record and Kobe. Wow, Jaime Perez scored the most points um in the playoff game. Interesting, bro. Jaime Perez is him, but um, let's see. Okay, so. Kevin Durant is one on all time scoring. He is the best scorer of all time. LeBron James is two. Kobe Bryant three. Kawhi Leonard is not on here. So maybe I, you know, maybe I didn't thought he would be on here, but it looks like he didn't score enough points to be on the top fifty anything. So Kawhi Leonard, if I can even find him, he's not even top fifty, bro. Wow. No, okay. No way. Bro. No, he, he he's on here. He's on here. Yeah, no way. I, I must have just passed him, but. If you guys saw him, please point him out because I must be wrong because I cannot see Kawhi Leonard anywhere. But it doesn't matter. He should be on like the defensive side of things. We can go to there really quick. Um, so blocks, steals. There he is. Kawhi Leonard second on steals, blocks. Probably not on here. Not the best blocker. And then yeah, he was one of the best defensive players. And that is how you end this off. We guys enjoyed this one. Um, most likely see Anthony Davis what next, and I'll see you or James Harden. I'll see you guys next time. Peace or 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 Westbrook. Next time, peace. Okay.